She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. The same curve. I always run over that fucking car. That respectable girl. Peace can get it on. He's got the dong. He's got the dong. He's got the dong. Peace can get it on. I blocked Nader for good. And he's gonna watch this, so here's my message to you. I am sorry for being so back and forth. It's not the first time I've actually blocked him, but it's not, it's rare that I actually block, block, block him. I posted his stream, <laughs> the, the thumbnail made me laugh. Like I, I, I woke up and I'm like, what did I miss last night? I see Gary, this guy's face, like looking like a buzzing fridge face in his thumbnail. And I know, I knew he hated Gary. He's like, I'm going to react to this fat fuck, I swear to God. And I know, look, yes, he calls him fat, fat shames him. And I'm fat, I know. But you know what? That guy fat, that guy fat shames, that guy is fucking mean to me too. He's nasty the way he talks about fucking people. So fuck him. He does look like a fridge face fat fuck. And, but it really pisses me off to hear him say, like he specifically goes out of his way to be like, I don't have a girlfriend. Here's why you have a girlfriend, Natter, okay? You can call me your not girlfriend. Just like, uh, you can lie your way out of a lot of shit, but... I have like literal DMs of you literally telling me you love me and that you want to live with me. And Dee, Dee just so you know, go ahead and fucking sue me. I cannot wait to take you to court. Because you know what, bitch? You deserve everything you have coming to you. You inserted yourself in this shit. You inserted yourself. You laughed at me with him. So you deserve it. You deserve it. I don't feel bad for you at all. Kiss my fat ass. But I'm tired of doing all this shit. Like I'm literally putting my whole life out. And he does not even like acknowledge it as anything at all. Like he doesn't even care. Like he he doesn't even realize the amount of stress that he puts me through like having to drive up to montreal or he sorry he did say like i'm sorry you have to drive up and but i i don't like the stress for you too but he's only said that like once and it's because i started losing my shit driving around montreal he's like okay let's go to this area let's look for apartments let's go to this area and i'm like meanwhile i'm like i'm gonna fucking die like i'm, I'm so stressed out i'm tired he's so high energy the whole time he doesn't even care he is coughing up a fucking lung and like horking up these things like <laughs> And going like snot rocketing and like the whole time it's like driving me nuts like i can't even i can't even deal like i want to like punch him in the face like that's how annoying he is at this point sorry i have to get that off my chest i didn't tell him that but i think he could sense it because i'd be like seriously like why like what's wrong with you go to a fucking doctor i do have self-respect autumn and i think this is why it always eats away at me that's what it is it's my self-respect oh my god look at my binge from yesterday oh colleen what are you gonna do are you gonna get I think they're preparing the apartment next door. His dick is beautiful. He does have a nice wiener. Yeah, he really is. A, if narcissism is him blaming other people, like he will not even admit, like he tries to say like the incident where we got into a huge fight and he like did all that stuff that I put on the report. He like, he's saying that I was crazy and I was on, I was high and it didn't happen. And then he's like, you're going to admit to that, but you, you wanted to drive home and you were high. I didn't let you. He's like, whenever he like didn't let me go home, he's trying to say like, because I was high. So he didn't let me go home. And I always used to think he doesn't do that stuff to Didi, but maybe he does and she just doesn't say anything about it because every single thing I've said, like I remember having a talk with her and being like, like Didi, like when I was drunk, I was like just hard, like he was in the bathroom. I was like, honestly, I was like, he did do things to me. Like he did, he's, I'm like, you've been with an Arabic man. Do they all hit their girlfriends? Like I would say stuff like that to her. I would be like, they're like abusive. And she would be like, well, she's like, yeah, my ex gave me, you, you know, and she would say what her ex did to her. And it's like, like it was nothing. And I was just like, no. And, but then I feel bad, like not all Arabic men are like that. So I don't want to generalize and sound racist and everything. Cause that is not nice to say. Chantal does not need to be forced into telling her story. Exactly. And that's what it is. That's what it was on the panel. Are you lying or you're not? So are you lying or you're not? Are you lying or you're not? You think it's easy to come on here and say that your fucking boyfriend ass raped you? No, it's not. So go fuck yourself. Misha, I know you're trying so hard to be fucking relevant as a hater, but you're shitty at it. Nobody even fucking likes you. People make fun of you on the farms. You're a piece of shit. Goodbye. Shell, you're a piece of shit. I'm blocking you from my fucking channel. You're not even a member. Get the fuck out of here with your two bucks. And you always comment on all my videos. You must be a mega fan. Goodbye. Yes, it is a rage. I'm tired of people fucking giving me shit for this shit. Fuck you. Giving me shit? Trying to shame me for not knowing how to act in a situation? 
So that was fucking traumatic for me. So fuck you both, all of you, all of you, fuck off. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be here. You out of DD story. Oh, well, I guess she was punched in the face by her fucking ex. Do you like, oh, who cares, Mizu? Send another dollar 79 British fucking pound that you need. Go fuck yourself. Fuck you, Beezer Beauty, you trailer park trash. Go hang out with more of your kind, you fucking loser. And this is why I don't talk about it because no matter what I say, people will just take something else and be like, oh, you lied about this. You lied about this. Fuck off. I think I look good. I think I look good in this. I like how I look. Who are you to tell me that just because I have roles, I don't look good? Are you going to, are you really going to tell me that? Are you really going to, you're going to tell me how to feel about my body, how I should feel internally about my own body? You're not going to tell me that. You're not going to tell me that. Shoo shoo. Her face, <laughs> her eyebrows were like this. I'm going to drop a fucking eyebrow. I don't care. This is body shaming. I'm eyebrow shaming. Shoo shoo. Fucking shoo shoo. Come to Lachine and eat my beaver that I've been married for. I'm so, I've been married for 20 years, but my beaver is hot. And I need some Baba Ganesh in my beaver. I hate, I hate these people. <laughs> Aww, you're the biggest man I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Hi, Sinky. What did I say that wasn't true? You gave me gonorrhea. You think I'm not going to out you for that? Ladies, if a man gives you gonorrhea and then bumps his way to get medication for it, are you not going to out him online? Yes. Thank you. What woman would not out her man, hairy armpits, would not out her man for giving me gonorrhea? Because you know I didn't cheat. It was him. Hi. I'm so sorry for the last um, notice. I have to cancel my appointment for Sam because he's just like, I'm going to have to get a mobile vet to come in because he's too, he's too freaking out. So yeah, this mobile groomers for 65 a month. I can afford that. That's 65 times two, 130 on the cat. Plus their cat food is three bucks a day. I give them each a can, six bucks a day to feed my cats. That's just the wet food. 180 a month. That's not bad. Do you think Dee Dee's getting her groom on? Yes, I think they fuck every night. And I think they both lie to me. I should read between the lines. Anyways, I'm not going to be lied to. I'm not going to be treated like shit by another man in my life. If you don't want to take me out and you don't want to treat me good, then screw you. I ripped my pants. Like, I have no underwear on. These black pants I'm wearing, I went to sit in the car. I felt a rip and I'm like, no, I couldn't have ripped my pants. So I move, I shift my butt. Sure enough, rip right open. So I cannot get out of my car right now. And I have to drive in the middle of nowhere so I can change my pants. My whole ass is showing. I cannot change and I cannot even get out of my car to go in my house. There's children. You know what he tried to say? Because I flipped out on him about that phone call from its water weight when he's like, I like it the most. I was like, you fucking liar, blah, blah, blah. So further down the line, after he has time to think about an answer, he tells me his excuses, that was Dee Dee. Thank you for the confirmation because you flip, you flipped out on me when I said that it was Dee Dee. You flipped out on me. This is my problem. You make me feel like my feelings are not valid. So I have no choice but to come on here and scream at you. I'm not messaging you. I'm not texting your phone. I'm not harassing you. I'm talking about something that happened online. So I was supposed to get an apartment for us. Like we were supposed to live together. That was the, that was the idea. For me, what I was going to do is... And for me, the biggest thing is not being able to make up my mind, like back and forth, back and forth. Like one minute, I love him. One minute, I want to be with him and I'll do anything for him and make it work. And then the next minute, because we've been through so much shit together, like all of this shit has to make sense, has to mean something. He even said that, like, you know, all of this shit and then we're just going to drop it. But yes, because if we keep this, the same logic as trying to repair a broken car over and over instead of just getting a new one, it's like at some point we're just going to destroy each other to the point of there being nothing left or killing each other and i don't know about you but i kind of like living so no stop being so fucking smug and arrogant because people don't like that people don't not like you just because of me you 
show who you really are too. People are not stupid. People are going to pick up on it. And blaming me for all of your problems online is bullshit. You have no one to blame but your own fucking self for your own actions. I've been meaning to tell you this forever to your face, but I can't because I'm afraid you'll smack me. So here you go. Here's the truth. And eat it up and go online and just fucking apologize and own your actions. Okay? Own your actions. Own it. Why am I getting in trouble? Like, I don't understand why I get in trouble for talking about him. Like, when everything I say is true, shouldn't he be apologizing for his behavior? Guys, look at my pants. change my pants in the field here because I can't show you me changing and I gotta take my shoes off so I will just be two seconds hold on I swear it's dead Oh, thank God. First thing I want to say is suck my ass, angel hands. Tell all is coming? Really? You're going to defend a liar? Okay. Bring it on, bitch. People are watching you. Do you see the lengths he goes to to protect his image? Instead of just being... You know that you would look better? being honest right like are you actually going to tell like oh my god never again am i doing anything for this fucker seriously you're gonna disrespect disrespect me like that like never again do you think johnny depp is hot no and not really i used to think he was sort of cute in uh gilbert grape but important phone call <laughs> he's trying to scare me i have an important phone call from my lawyer so stop talking about me i'm not talking about you i'm just saying that you're a liar and you are. You know what? I don't want to order anything. I'll just have a small piece of this. He won't even admit to having sex. I know. He looks completely fucking ridiculous. Like, why wouldn't you admit to having sex with me? Like, fuck you. If anything, I should be ashamed of having sex with you, green peen. Are you fucking serious? You're going to not admit to fucking me? Really? How many of you believe that? Put a one in the chat. How many of you think that we went to that hotel and him being the person he is didn't have any sex with me? Why would he want to even be around me? Like, what would be... Really? You really don't think we had sex? Do I need to put that screenshot up again, Natter? What does I want your pussy mean? I miss your pussy, stupid. Hmm. Why you meet people? Fuck you. You're a whore. I didn't fuck anyone. Yes, you did. You live with a woman. How can you be mad at me? Fuck you. I will do what the fuck ever I want. I never love someone like you. You really fucking Cuba. Can you tell me you're faithful? You're fucking whore. I don't need you anymore. Oh, yeah. That sounds like someone who doesn't give a shit. Huh? Okay. Actually, let me go get Moscato. And then let's recap. Let's recap. I hope you're watching. I hope she's watching. You could never. You can't even show your face on camera because you're so insecure. <sighs> Unless you feel like going online and apologizing to me, I'm done with you. That's it. I'm respecting myself from now on. I'm certainly not giving you any more of my, like, I'm fucking like what? Gonna go broke and bankrupt and fucking miserable because of you? If we like, okay, let's say he apologized to me sincerely and never did anything to hurt me ever again and like really proved his love, maybe. But that's like not, I'm more likely to get hit by lightning at this point. So did you know, Carly, that Natter was jealous of me doing the OnlyFans shoot with you? And he thought I fucked Josh. <laughs> Allergic to starfish. He said that. He's like, I read him my, my song. I'm like, did you like starfish? He's like, yeah, I'm going to write a song. I'm allergic to starfish. Baba Ganoush is my best dish. Allergic to starfish, but you dove in this deep dish. Boom, roasted, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't want anything bad, like literally bad to happen to anybody. Which is why I'm just fucking cutting everything off. That wig looks like you've been frying shit in a tiny kitchen! I got too much life running through my veins, going to waves. 
I'm gonna die. But I ain't getting on the down either. Before I fall in love, I'm preparing to leave. Let's get myself to death. I never dreamed that I'd need somebody like you. I'm getting drunk. Oh, here's my car keys. I just, as a per just because I'm stupid when I'm drunk, okay. it's just a good idea to give him my keys. So much for, uh, uh. so much for me, buddy. Hey, asshole, hi, how are you? It's an open chat for right now, but you can, you have to subscribe at least. I miss some of you guys. Barbecue chicken! I just wanted you to know. Are you gonna join Caesars? I'm not a human cockroach, you stupid ass. Your boyfriend, sweetie, wants to have sex with you for free. Actually, your husband wants to pay me, honey. No one wants you, Chantel. Let's be real. That's why you're drunk, looking a whole fool. Didi got the only man who you could pay for. That's pathetic. Hmm. Amber chick. I want to remind you of something. I want to remind you that you're the one behind the computer screen watching me be an asshole. So... Have a seat, be entertained, and shut the hell up. Crusty starfish, I don't care if he has crooked teeth. Everything else about him is straight. His dick is fucking hard and long. That's all I care about. Okay, if you cannot physically say I love you on live, uh, the only way I'll ever, ever talk to you is anything. <laughs> Prove it. If you, the next thing you make on live stream is falafels, is, is, no. If the next thing you make on live stream is vermicelli, then you'll love me. <laughs> I'm gonna slap my court. <laughs> bitch, let me see you walk. Wait, you think I'm less of a person because I can't walk as far as you? Fuck, bitch. I'll walk two steps and be more of the woman than you'll ever be. Suck my left gunt. Hey. Are you reacting? Are you reacting to me? Fuck face. What? Fuck face. Yeah, but somebody said you're reacting to you, asshole. You're reacting to me. I'm not reacting to you. I'm not reacting to you. I have to fuck face. Oh. And who gives a fuck if I left you? I care. Mm -hmm. You have no reason to be mean to me. Yeah. Mm. yeah. What do you have to be mean to me about? Hmm? Mm. Oh. Mm. Say you love me. Where's my thumbnail? I'm drunk and on live, I gotta go. Why do you hate me for loving him? It's not my fault. I can't help it. <laughs> He's not capable of loving or respecting anyone. He did call you a piece of shit. You called me a piece of shit? Somebody just told me that you called me a piece of shit. No, I'm not gonna call the police, but it hurts my feelings. Why would you say that? How can you say that about somebody you love? <laughs> Go take your medication. Fuck you. Yeah, unsub to me. I deserve it. This is a promise. If I ever talk to him again, you can hate me. Don't unsubscribe yet. Hello. You told me to go take my medication? Why would you say 
My medication? Why are you taking the day? Why don't you you have to admit the people you love me? That's why I'm saying taking vacation. You don't believe me. And now people believe me. Go take your vacation. <laughs> I love you more than you will ever know. No more sadness and no more sorrow. What a sweet surprise and I am strong cold. Why is my keyboard in Arabic? What did you do to my keyboard? How do I make it not Arabic? Nada. Do I ever care how I look in front of people? Never. I would do anything. gentle but i also like to be screwed hard so sometimes i like it but it's borderline abusive you don't fucking deserve me you know that motorcycle guy offered to take me on an actual date actually loves me and tells me every day and still i only fucking love you because i'm stupid and i fucking hate myself for loving you and i fucking hate that i'm destroying my life for you <laughs> Hey, I'm trash. I'm real stream news. You're calling me trash. Are you serious? You hypocritical piece of shit. You have Katie on your channel and you're calling me trash. CJ, you know chin having or you better not be calling me trash because I will call you out. You piece of shit. Really? You're gonna call me trash? Barbecue chicken, call him out. The f I'm coming to Spain next month. You better support me. Listen, Scott Stevens, don't fucking go there. You know he's a little bitch. Him and Katie are little bitches. Katie, I would rock your fucking world. I'm not scared of you, you trashy trailer park drunk driving having. And you know what? CJ, you can kiss my ass. You'll never be anything without me. None of you will be anything without me. You suck at insults. Insult me, spinach sodium. Let's see how good you are. You're a disgrace. 40 year old psychopath. Ooh. Shanny for Christ. No, that better not be the real Shanny, you fucking deadbeat piece of Aaron, nobody likes you for a good reason because you're a low life and you need help but yes when kids are involved look i i made the right choice i ruined my own life i don't ruin a kid's life you do i don't drive high you stupid prove it 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 he doesn't acknowledge it that hurt my feelings because he's an asshole Pete's loved me more than he loves anyone in the planet. Do you want me to make up with Pete? <laughs> He's like a kisser. If you say yes, then I will love you forever and give you everything you ever wanted in your life. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you, lo Do you love me? Do you love me? Okay. <laughs> I just want to say one thing. Is he with Didi? No. He loves me. You're really going to and ignore me like that you f really you're gonna ignore me like that for real if for really gonna <laughs> ignore me like that you're gonna ignore me like that 
My boyfriend's calling me. Matter? Do you think he loves me? I think he loves himself. But do you think he loves me, honestly, objectively? Probably not. Not even a little? I think he loves you as an extension of himself. He loves you as a possession. I'm sorry. <laughs> you might be too drunk to stay online. No. I like this. Sorry, please. So no need for a fucking wellness checkup. I, I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> you piece of I'm okay now. Why did I kiss you? Because you're drunk. <laughs> you have absolutely no fucking impulse control or sense. Oh, sorry. The timing of when you listened to it was uh, suboptimal. Okay, but I would have I would give my life for all those kids who lost your life. And people don't care about that. If I could give my life to save every one of those children who lost their life in that shooting, I would do it. All of you Americans who think you have a right to assault rifles, fuck you. That's what that song means to me. What about you? That song to me is satire. Commentary, at least. Well, I mean, is it not the American anthem or no? Just about at this point. There you go. I would give my life for another kid to never be shot in the United States. I would give my life. Hearing that 19 kids died makes me want to throw up. Makes me want to die. Makes me hate humanity because I'm drunk with that. The parents that lost their children on that day because this 18 year old shot them. If you can't take care of your children, please give them to me. I would do any I would do anything to give a child a good life. I promise you. Please, please tell them I would give them anything to give them a good life. Drink some water. No. Yes. No. Please drink some water. Dude, I'm just saying to treat their children good. That's why you need to drink some water. Because right now. Please. Listen to me. I'm sane. I'm sad. Give me adopted children. We don't be parenting and children. Very good. Give me adopted children. <laughs> don't leave me. Sit. I'm holding the glass. You can fucking drink it. Okay, stop it. I just want to. Okay, I'm ending my shit. I'm going. Oh my god. I threw up all measure times. <coughs> I'm out of a bed now. <laughs> I'm out of a <sighs> Uh, uh.
Okay, I'm okay, so I'm okay. I'll be back. I love you guys. Past is the past. He's a good person. He's a bad person. I'm a bad person. I'm a good person. I'm so bad to you. You're so good to me. You're so bad to me. I'm so good to you. Forgive. Move on. Grow. Replace hate with love. 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 Love is delusional. Love is weak, but my love is strong. Your love is lazy and it's making me crazy. This is what happened. You think I'm a liar? <laughs> Baby, I'm on fire. I swear under oath, this man shows me growth. Growth. Growth, growth inside of me, from inside of you. Pass it back to me, baby. Let's do this again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again for the haters in the back and our lovers on the side. Let's say it again. Ooh.